series we have a series of guests and uh, today we have uh, the last episode of the series and the two guests that we have for this episode are Tony and myself Peter as a vocal percussionist so let's start with our first guest which is Tony That was a lot. Yes, so this is a conical practitioner. Would you, say, yes. would you use the word practitioner? Player? I think practitioner, practitioner would be a good one, yeah. Okay. Because I'm still practicing. <laughs> right, we, as, as are all types of musician. Okay, so can you give a, a brief intro, a self-intro? How would yeah, you describe I'm, a, I'm actually a jazz bass player. I, I a freelance gig around town. I play in a band called Vasha, which is an Indian fusion band. And uh, I, I study the Merlingam as a because it's a personal interest, a personal hobby of mine. And then uh, Konakal is part of the language that goes with the drum instruction. So, uh, you know, you learn it as a matter of course. Right. And, and I found out through the course of this uh, entire series that a lot of uh, different types of percussion players and uh, drummers also have some form of uh, verbalization, vocalization as part of the, mm. the studying process. So it is interesting to me as a vocal percussionist uh, how, how this all forms. And for Conocall itself, uh, the, the history of it, how many years is it? Oh boy. You okay, know? I just failed this test. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hundreds of years. <laughs> Multiple centuries, years ago. Yeah, I mean, the, the Merdangam has been around for thousands of years. It's older than the thousands. Tabla. Tabla, maybe a few hundred years, but uh, Merdangam, much, much longer history. There's a difference. Yes, this is a Merdangam. The Tabla uh, usually consists of two different drums. So right. those are, one is North Indian, this is South Indian. I see. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so the second guest is myself. <laughs> I'm Peter Huang, and I'm a vocal percussionist. So yes, uh, oh, yeah. cool. I've been doing this uh, full-time pretty much since 2009, mm. uh, but I started in about around 1997, so it's been about 20-odd years for me, uh, and I've always been in the acapella scene. Uh, I did intend to, to pick up uh, some form of real drum instrument, uh, so I did buy a drum set. Mm. And the story is I bought it and then the, the neighbor downstairs gave birth. <laughs> Oh. And then every time I tried to play, yeah. she would call the cops. Oh dear. So after a while, I had to give up and sold it. Uh, and I ended up just buying a set of headphones, bought a mic, and mucked around with it. Mm. And I was already kind of in contact with the acapella scene, so it kind of just grew from there. Mm. And over time, it became what I do. Oh, okay. But I've never had a, a, a actual contact with you know using hands and legs to play percussion instruments. So. Uh, for me, in, in, in the course of my own self-study, because there's no actual curriculum, this is a very new thing, uh, what I do. It only started in the late uh, mid-90s, mm. maybe even early 90s, um, that somebody became a full-time vocal percussionist in an a cappella group. And the guy is still around, uh, Jeff Thatcher, specifically from a group called uh, Rockapella. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he, he was the first full-timer and... Uh, and there, there's been a lot of groups that have followed suit since, and, and that's kind of what I've become. And I've always known that there is Konako as an earliest form of known vocal percussion uh, in India. And it's always been very interesting to me that uh, th this is not a very well-known uh, art form, unfortunately, right? Yeah. So I, I, I felt that it was quite crucial to, to use this uh, opportunity to end off the series. So I, I wanted to, to get a little bit more in-depth and, and find out more from you, Tony, about what this is and how, like, okay, so I'm just going to ask instinctively oh, yeah, sure, sure. What, what piques my interest. So this is 
organic material from what I see. It's oh, not... the, you mean talk about the drum, right? Yes, the drum itself. Yeah, um, the wood is uh, called uh, the jack jack wood. So it's an actual uh, tree that they have in India. And a lot of the sort of prized murdungums, sometimes when they uh, dismantle a temple, an old temple to rebuild, they'll take the columns and, and use the oh. wood into. So that's some religious background in there. The, right. the thick, the thickest skin is cow, and then the thinner skin, I think, is goat skin. Wait, isn't cow like sacred? Like, uh, yeah. So that's the that's the funny thing. So at, at one time, like um, the people who are really religious don't play this instrument. Oh. So yeah, it took a while before it was uh, um, kind of accepted that you can. It's just like a. See, I play left-handed, and for a while, it's n it's not considered good to to play left-handed. You have to play right-handed. Oh. So now uh, it's more like a new thing. Uh, one of the the great drummers, uh, um, Palani Supermaniam, he's a left-handed drummer. So I, I guess ever since then, like from the fifties and sixties, people started to accept this that that you can because he's such a great player. That, because there's a trailblazer. Like, like Paul uh, McCartney plays left-handed bass, right? After that, right, you know, right, you right. can't say you know, let's not play left-handed. Right, because somebody has done it and done it yeah, well sure, and become sure. successful. Cool. Okay, and and can I ask how heavy, how much it costs? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like okay. Um, how, people uh, won't see this normally, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, what happens? Uh, what what it is is a, a really solid uh, murdungum would be about maybe around twelve kgs. Wow. Yeah. So this one is a, a light uh, practice model that was made for me especially so that I can travel around with it easily and do stuff like this right. without killing myself. So this one, how roughly how many kg? Um, this one is about maybe eight or nine. Oh, well, that's yeah. not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and the price. Uh, it's comparable. I mean, it's it's cheap compared to a, a good conga. So you have a really compa comparable conga. This would be maybe like half the price or three quarters. Uh, uh, of the roughly price. in dollars, how much is it? Dollars, you can get a very very good murdango around four hundred sing between four hundred oh, okay. five hundred sing. Yeah, it's like probably like top of the line. That's not crazy, lah. No, no, no. You can you can get into it quite uh, quite economically. For myself, uh, obviously, I just use uh, a, a simple mic. Uh, for a lot of the beatboxing, hip hop scene, they tend to prefer the the uh, dynamic mics, oh, okay. which are a lot more affordable. Um, this happens to be a dynamic mic, but uh, I I prefer usually a handheld condenser mic, oh. and then there's less need for uh, grill manipulation. Oh. Yeah, so I, I, it becomes more of angle manipulation. So what, what do you mean by grill manipulation? So like certain old school beatbox uh, sounds uh -huh. like uh, will require this. So that sound uh -huh. only really works with... Uh, if you cut the grill off. Yeah, if you cut the grill. If I... Not as oh, great. It doesn't have to enclose the It doesn't sound as thick. Yeah. 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 So for for the really, uh, I would say close to a thousand bucks. Wow. Uh, type of handheld mics, both will have the definition to create that without me cupping as much. So maybe I can half cup, use mm -hmm. one finger, just block the nostril. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I tend to block the nostril so that I don't breathe down into the mic when mm -hmm. I when I exhale. Oh. Yeah. So it's always at the angle. Oh, so I, I have a I have a path. Otherwise, it'd be. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. okay right, okay, okay. so that's not kosher. Yeah, for yeah. for Konoko, yeah, it, it is. Is it is it directly? Is well, directly linked? Well, the the funny thing is, uh, Konoko currently there's a there's a stream of Kono, or at least performance where it's considered a kind of a it is an art form, but it's mostly in the beginning used for just teaching. So my teacher would use syllables to teach me, which can coordinate with the drum uh, right. fingerings, and that's the other weird thing about. Uh, I guess Indian music in a way, like especially South Indian music, the Carnatic music, uh, when they do their solfege, the Doremis, mm. they call it Sari Gamapa. So Sari Gamapa, they can actually improvise with those. It's as if a Western singer would, would go, do 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 re 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 mi 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 fa 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 mi 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 re. So it's it's weird, right, <laughs> to do that. But um, in Indian tradition, it's, it's very common to improvise certain parts of it with uh, Doremi, with their, so, with their, their solfege, solfege syllables. And then um, the... The drum also, there's a performance arm that, that's also konoko, but konoko originally used to go along with the drum, uh, the drum. so this is doom, has a, you know, that low sound, doom, and ta, tarikita, and tarikugu, 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 yeah, tarikugu, tarikita, tarikugu, tarikita, ah, tarikita, tarikugu, tarikita, tarikugu, tarikita, yes, yeah, ah, so this is ta kum kum ta. Some of it's, some of it's um, pretty intuitive. So if you hear something like this, 
like even as a, a Western person or just a music listener, you'd be doing something to equivalent of ta tum tum ta ta tum tum ta, right. right? So that's very close to uh, the actual syllables. Right. So it's spoken it is, drum. It's spoken drums, like um, like a lot of times, you know, if you if you play air drums with a, a rock band, oh my, like, you don't play air drums, but if you're listening to a rock band, you right. go. So this is study kina doom. Interestingly, that's not what I would do. <laughs> so like, uh, if you were to play that again, like. That's my initial right. impression. No, I'm just saying. Because like, my, my vocab is a bit different. Well, when I was a kid listening to heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would often be doing That's a common sound. Tadikina doom, right? Tadikina doom is the legit. We we had a, call. my band actually did experiment with one song in heavy yeah. metal. Yeah. Oh really? On a dare. Oh. On a dare. Which song is that? Uh, Trooper. Oh Trooper. yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Then the then the, the galloping is So wow. that took forever for yeah. me to nail down. And I could only at first do like eight bars and then die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like my BPM would start to slow down. <laughs> so it took me a good you have to breathe, right? That's the uh, yeah, yeah, so So that's yeah, that's my yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the dun then I have an inhale. Okay, you know what's uh, uh, really uh, impressing me is that there's a big range of colors uh, in your sound palette. You ah. have the, the cymbal sound yes. all the way down to the boom, the very low sound. Right. Whereas uh, in Konoko, uh, you know, you have ta, doom, tarikita. So ah. basically, uh, the sound uh, range is a little bit narrower. There's a right. lot of, there's uh, some syllables. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. the, 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 the main thing that's a little bit different from uh, vocal lies drums yeah. is that uh, most of what I do is not involving my vocal cords. Okay. So my kick drum is a BU but with just airflow. Oh. So you're saying the shape of BU. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying I'm not having the oo part. Okay. I'm just Right. So the lip uh, vibration will be significantly lower than the vocal cords vibration. Right, right, right. So and then the same thing for snare, I'm doing a pursed lip PF. Yeah. So, okay. uh, which then can be like um, held if you if you want, uh, like okay. if there's more reverb. So similarly for for uh, hi hats and crashes, it's more. Oh, okay. So it's like doing a but you add a K in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's oh, how okay, okay. how it's very different from vocalized sounds. Yeah, but uh, with Merdungam, it's more like the syllables uh, relate to the the lessons of the drum. So if the teacher is going na din din na na din din na, you're playing. Tarikira din din na. So it's always uh, related to the drum as an instructional vehicle. But the unique thing about Kanadi music is that the solfege is used as a performance. So Kona call is actually the performance of the, the drum words. The drum words themselves are called solokatu. Solokatu oh. is just a, the word. Right. Like doom. It's a solo katu. It's not. It's not music. It's just right. a sound. So tarikita is another word. Tarikita dum. Those are all words. And then when you put them together in a, like phrases and a, a composition, it becomes it becomes konoko, which is the performance element. So if you go uh, So those are those are konoko phrases that you put together because you're actually creating a. A, a phrase, a motif, a, a, an expression of that's gonna call. Right. It's little units of sound. So if you uh, if you think about, let's say four four time, one two. I count it like this lah. So you can see one two three four. If you go four, so there's uh, sixteen sixteenth notes. Right. One two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four. It just feels like I'm just droning on, yeah. right? So in order to create a sense that there's some kind of phrase, you want to create a space. So it sounds like you do one thing, space, the same thing, space, same thing. So you get tarikita tam, tarikita tam, tarikita tam. So there's three uh, uh, same things. 
。ディコタカタリケタ。ディコタカタリケタ。そういう人は、that's the aesthetic of it。offset。offset with, a, with spacing。right。You know, so if you go,、uh, okay, let's say one, two, three, four, ta, one, two, three, four, ta, one, two, three, four, ta. So the ta is a space of two. right。four, four, four, twelve, two, two, right。sixteen。Right. One, two, three, four, ta, ta. One, two, three, four, ta, ta. One, two, three, four, ta. Right?、Yeah. And then the aesthetic Singapore of. Singapore math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Singapore math. The aesthetic of、uh, Carnatic music is once you have four, 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 that、oh. makes 12, you can make it three, four, five. Ta ki ta ta, ta ka di mi ta, ta ti ki na da. Right. So you just. One, two, one three, ta. One, two, three, four, ta. One, two, three, four, five, ta. Oh my goodness, the counting is mad. No, no, once it's, it's like you just have, you have the. The concept, the space set up, and then you、right. play around and rearrange stuff. It becomes more ingrained. That's okay, the improvisation of it. So, we would, let's say you do that again,、yeah. but while playing, how would that sound? Oh. Taka di mi tam, taka di mi tam, taka di mi tam, taka di mi tam. So, you can hear that, that、right. sense of three. So, so, takita t a m so three. One, two, three, three four, one, two, three, four. Yes, correct. You hear it. Yeah, that's good. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so they, they always talk about、uh, the drum language. The, so the language is the k o n a k a l So when my teacher is teaching this to me, he'll go like, dim, takita dim, takita dim. So it connects with drum fingerings. So the,、right. the k o n a k a l words are always there. So it's kind of like a solfege. Does it differ greatly from region to region? Like, I mean, South India is still huge. Yeah.、Uh, It, 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 differs, it differs in a, a kind of a personal adjustments. Oh, okay. Yeah, so sometimes Diku Takatari Kita is my teacher t e a c h me.、Uh, some people will call the same fingering Tari Kita Kita Taka. It's different wordings for the same fingering. That kind of reminds me of、um, even within the world of beatboxing and vocal percussion,、uh, the same types of drum sounds are done differently. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, like,、um, I know in, in, in Korea, for example, the a cappella scene there, their snare drum is always breathing in. <gasps> really? Yeah, so, yeah, that's completely foreign to me. So, I, when I went there, I saw them doing. <laughs> so,、oh. it's. They're breathing in,、yeah. and it's so bizarre. So, similar to their, their side stick.、Oh. So, I would do it,、uh, which is breathing out. Oh,、right? yeah, sure, sure. Theirs is,、oh. which I'm like, don't you choke on your own saliva? But they, they, they've gotten used to it. So, my, my system cannot handle it. Oh, okay, okay. So, my breathing points become s open hi hat. I tend to use open hi hat.、Oh. So, So that's, that's、okay, my okay. Pre- preferred breathing point. So, yeah, so the, there's definitely different,、uh, different types of.、Uh, for, for example, in the Japanese、uh, jazz vocal percussion scene, their kick drum is, is spoken.、Ooh. So, my kick drum, like I was saying, I, I'm using lip, right? There's this. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think jazz drummers、uh, tend, to, tend to tune their drums more son- sonorously. You can hear actually a note, yeah, which yeah. is what, what I'm hearing now.、Yeah. But, but like rock pop is not no like that. Yeah, yeah, rock pop, they, they put sponges inside, right? <laughs> pillow? In the drum,、uh, pillow. Okay,、um, I'm curious to know、mm. the amount of time that you have spent on this. Like, how long have you been playing? I've been playing about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Right. And before that, do you have any other drumming background?、Uh, no, no drumming. This is the first、uh, drum, first hand drum、uh, instrument I've ever played. Actually, I, I really just wanted to learn the Kono k o l And my, I approached my teacher at Sifas,、uh, T.R. s u n d a r e s e n And then later I studied with uh, uh, Srikant, h you know, my, my current teacher. There's a guy in between called.、Uh, uh, Um, Kartikeyan, who's also my teacher. So I have three, I've had three teachers. And, and they're, all very,、um, they're all very dedicated people. Like for them,、uh, it, it's not a. Or anyway, the ones I've、uh, encountered, they're all very, very serious about their instrument. You just don't fool around with it. So、mm. because of that, you know, I'm taking lessons, I'm, I'm a bit intimidated. But, but that's actually good. Right. Yeah, because you, 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 you take the lessons seriously, there's not much joking around, you know. k o n a k o is,、uh, is always、uh, a part of a. a Part of the lessons, you don't,、uh, you don't get a degree in Konakal. The same way you don't get a degree in, in piano skills. Like you right, can right, play right, scales, right, 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 right. 
but you don't get a degree in that. You get a degree and you learn sonatas and stuff like okay, that. Okay, so, understand. So, the, the, so it is a it is a training tool, la. It's a training tool, but it it also became a a performance medium as well, which is very right. unique. It, Western music doesn't have this. I mean, you don't go do re mi. Right. You know, in front of the audience, they'll think it's you're weird, right? Right. So that's that's different, right? There's beatboxing and then there's vocal percussion. Right? Vocal percussion in acapella is quite different. There's no battling. So okay. I've I've always been an acapella side of things. So I have never done a battle in my life. Okay. So when I meet a beatboxer who kind of has heard of what I do within... He challenge you immediately. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, hey, I don't know how to battle, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I prefer to work together in a group because I've, I've always worked with people yeah, yeah. instead of trying to outdo people, which is kind of what beatbox battle is all about. Right? Mm -hmm. you know, do as do as many types of sounds as good, as fast as possible, as close to the original mm -hmm. instrument as possible. Uh, side, simultaneously, you know, without being noticeably human. That's kind of mm. like the goal. Uh, but that's not my goal. My goal tends to be try to do what drummers do. Yeah. So um, it's it's a different mindset. Oh, yeah. okay. So I don't dare to call myself a beatboxer without having done a single battle. Oh, okay, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay. There's actually a Singaporean who is a world champion, multi mm. multiple time world champion. Oh. Yeah, Darni. I think he's part. Oh, seriously? He's part. Oh. Yes, yes. Part, part Thai, did you say? Now I'm getting hungry. Thai. Yeah, no, I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> part Thai, as yeah. in Thailand. So he he is incredible. He has a, a variety of sounds that I that far exceed oh. my vocab. Right. Uh, but he has always been a solo act. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's become very very clearly a, a separate thing on its own. Oh, okay. Whereas I, I'm always with a group. If I'm by myself, I'm a bit lost. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that kind of juxtaposes with what you were saying about Conoco artists becoming yeah. its own medium, uh, when in the past it tended to be more of a component of, yeah. of uh, Marinum. Yeah. So that's, that, to me, that sounds kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. similar. Um, yeah, but, but now there tends to be some aspects of uh, uh, hip-hop creeping into the acapella scene where mm. there will be concerts where the, the group that's doing the concert will have a section where the, the vocal percussionist will take a solo for like yeah. five, ten minutes. Wow. Yeah, which I always... <laughs> my band always tells me to do it and yeah. like, can don't. So yeah, I'd rather have the other guys on stage with me. I mean, I, I, can, I can show you some kind of call if you want to if you want to take a chance. Oh my goodness, sure. <laughs> it's I really easy. Do. Um, the, the first sort of drum solo that we learn uh, it, it's based on the motif na, din, din, na. Yeah. Na. So, na, din, din. Do you, have you ever clapped the, the cycle before? No, the AB cycle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, it's an Whoa. AB cycle. It's like okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, six. seven, eight. Okay? If, if you get confused, just stay here. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, the, the, the motif is na din din na. So, you improvise with na din din na, and then on the last two beats, you, you do a fill of eight subdivisions. So, na din din na, na na din din na, na din din na, tarikuku tarikita, tarikuku tarikita. So, it's basically <laughs> at the end of that cycle. So, Okay, we do an easy one. Uh. Ta tum tum ta ta kum kum ta. So that's the fill. So na dim dim na na dim dim na na dim dim na ta kum kum ta ta kum kum ta na dim dim na na dim dim na na dim dim na ta kum kum ta ta kum kum ta. Good, good, good. Yeah. So the the structure is na dim dim na. Then you can vary the na dim dim na na dim dim na 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 dim dim na 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 dim dim na. Ta kum kum ta ta kum kum ta. Ah, yeah, there you go. Na ta din 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 na ta din 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 na ta 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 Na teka te ta ta teka teka ta dim dim na ta ta dim dim na tari kita dim dim na tari kita tari kita tari kita kita tari kita na dim 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 na na dim dim na na dim dim na ta teka teka tu ta ta kata kata Ding. 
Oh, good, very good. Na din din na na din din na. Tuka kata ting tak kata ting tak. Hey hey. Yeah, I'm trying to get your lick. That sounds very Western already. I don't know if you're feeling it, but I do feel that my 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 background does seem to help me feel a bit more comfortable with this than with the other handheld instruments. Yeah, if you're if you're connected, uh, if you're connected to rhythm, like and you, uh, I can I can sense that you feel it very strongly. It's right. it's um, it's quite universal in that sense. Like you can play with people. The only difference is it's um the Canadian. Musicians tend to have a, a awareness of certain kind of structure, so you cannot anyhow. Right, right, right. Obviously, so, they, don't have uh, they have a certain sense of structure, but uh, a lot of it is based based off of this sensitivity that there are three uh, lengths or something, and then you can you can uh, you can the mathematical roll the structure length. is quite. Quite yeah. Set, like. So I just did eight, eight, eight. I can do six, eight, ten. Right. You know, it's the same. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's something that obviously is very uh, unfamiliar to me. Yeah. Though. But the 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 whole idea of of having uh, vocalized uh, rhythmic sequences that's that feels quite comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's it's very Western. I mean, if you if you look at all, all the music is just uh it's just there. Yeah. So we hear it, and then uh, a Carnatic musician would interpret it. In the sequence of conical syllables, you would you would in, interpret it as ta tu 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 ta tu 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 so whatever. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm doing this My badly, vocal, but you yeah. know what I'm saying. Right? No, it's not a bad start. Yeah, so you you have you have your own way of feeling it and translating into it, and the 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 beauty is that we are able to communicate like basically instantly, like we're cool, doing now. Man. Yeah, this this is cool. Yeah. Vocal percussion from the the centuries old tradition, <laughs> and mine is a couple of decades old. All right, at this point. I yes. do want to request mm. for a quick uh, crash course yeah, sure. in the Murdigam. So let's see how that goes. All right, All right. here we go. Here we go. Um, I will teach you the, the basically the first lesson that every Murdigamist learns. There's four words. Ta, di, dum, nam. Ta, di, dum, nam. Ta, di, dum, nam. Di, da, like a di, di sound. Da, di, dum, dum, nam. Nam, yeah, okay? Nam. So ta is like this. You you try to get all four fingers, the full hand. You, you basically it's a it's a not uh, so. Let's say this is a live sound, so it's ringing. Yep. So this is just a like muted. a like a muted bass drum kind of thing. So all four fingers up to here. Yeah, that's it. That's that. So do I do I have my fingertips on the rim or on the inside? You uh, okay? There's different schools that give you different things. I was taught to have, touch a little bit of the far of rim. The, okay. But uh, but some people just play inside. Right. So there's there's two schools uh, so there's so without the rim, yeah. oh it rings a bit. Oh no, it rings oh, because you side. have to meet with this hand. Yeah. Oh okay okay. Yeah, okay. yeah that's that. Versus touching the rim. Yes. Sounds kind of similar. It's very similar. So it's not much difference. And sometimes when you play fast, you, you don't your hands can't move across to the oh, to yeah, the other yeah, side. Yeah. So you have no to. Time. Yeah, you have to just keep it here. So, and then this is D. So this is three fingers in the middle of the black part. What is that made of? <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a, some special stone that they grind up. Stone. Stone, uh, uh, like from a rock. It's, it's specifically used to make this meridian thing. And that, and then the glue is rice. You literally, you can go like, um, when this one was put on, we went to the uh, Indian shop to buy some rice just to just to use it to make a paste. Really? Yeah, if you get if you get rice of a certain texture, uh, with a certain kind of moistness. Bas Basmati. Eh? Uh, no, no, it's the Indian rice, the sm the shorter green one. Oh my goodness. It's quite sticky. So, I don't know, you're, you're probably too young to do this. Like the last time when I was in primary school, they used to have a crafts where you literally took rice and used it as a glue and then you make like paper horses. <laughs> so, it's three fingers and you, you hit and stop because you don't want it to ring. Right, so... Yeah, three, yeah, good. So that's D. Right. Okay, and then you try to keep this finger separately. Oh, separate, ah? Yeah, because later, uh, later you, you actually learn strokes that are like this, so you have to be able to move back and forth. Right. Yeah, so that's D. Oh, so, and I release this also. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 won't, you won't notice this so much later. So da, D, okay? Okay. And da, doom, okay. doom is back here. This time you hit the closer part to you, and then there's the, and you, you let the uh, fingers bounce off the middle of the drum. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And then once you Any get used finger? to it, uh, middle two. Okay. Yeah. And then if you get used to it, you don't have to fly off. You can, you can also do it here and stop. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, and nam, nam is the challenge. La. Now if you imagine that uh, this finger is up, nam is, is you have you can you can try here. 
Yeah, so yeah, exactly. You have to hit like this and you hit it on the outside rim. While holding the thing? While holding, well, I'll tell you why. If you don't, there's a ringing sound. Right. So if you stop it, you get this sort ah. of uh, slappy wood sound. Yes. Oh, hey, hey, that's actually, actually really good. That's the hardest sound to get. Okay. Okay. And then, so ta ti dum nam will be ta ti dum nam. Oh, goodness. Wait. <laughs> Cannot remember. Ta. Ah, uh, yeah, ta, oh, ta is, a, is a, not a ringing sound, yeah. You, you try to leave your hand here while you're hitting ta because then the, the side won't ring, yeah. Then D, no, D has to stop. So, so stop, stop. Uh, stop, stop. Doom release. is a resonant sound, and then, uh, and then numb you mute and slap. Stop, stop, ring, mute. Yeah. So. D, doom, yes, then numb. Uh, what you want to do is you want to start to connect the the sound uh, the 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 word with the sound. So yeah. numb is like this. Yeah, keep this finger up. You know. Yes. Oh, I, actually, that's a really good sound. That's a really good numb for a person who's never done it before. Thank you. Yeah. Ask ask, ask uh, your friends. Ask your Murdergum learning friends. So uh, hold this and then. Yeah. B. Doom. Numb. I, I have to see it though. Oh, yeah, you, you have to, you can feel the edge of the skin here, right? So you, if you if you reach the edge, yeah, here, that's, that's a good enough mute, really. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to memorize the position. Wow, that's good, man. You're a much better student than I ever was. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, holding it. Ta, di, dum. I missed that one. And then... Num, yes. Ta. So now, now you try to oh. feel like the, the sound that you want is the word. Doom. Uh, da. Di. Di. Doom. Num. Yes. Da. Di. Doom. Oh, I didn't get that right. Yes. So now, okay, now I, I teach you a first phrase. So, da, 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 di, 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 doom, 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 num, num, num. Try. Da. Oh. Da, 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 di, di. Yes. See now, now we're communicating the way that that we use Konakol to do it. You, I might using the wrist. Uh, it's the, uh, the, the... okay. You put your hand here. Uh -huh. You put your hand here. Then I show you. It's, it's this. So you it's, are you it's are like rotating. It's it's more like a. Are you using this kind of like anchor? Uh, no, no. I'm I'm using I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of doing that. Like oh. like you're slapping something. Yes, that's it. Because I was. Yeah, I know. It's, it, it, it looks like that, but actually, it's, it it feels a little, it feels almost independent. The reason why it doesn't it feels like there's an anchor is that you're muting with the the. All right. Yes. Right. Well, actually, you're so good that I can teach you one new sound. Oh my god! Like skipping a step. Oops. So if you mute here, okay, I just get myself into. And you and you hit the it, it, it touch the line here uh -huh. with the like a numb stroke. Uh. On the. On the stone. Yeah, you're, you're hitting right just on the edge of the, the skin here and right. the black part. You get this on, harmonic sound. On this thing. So your, your hit is about here. Okay. So okay. But you have to mute the edge. If you mute too much, the ringing won't come through. Nope, didn't get it. Well, your first time you want to get it, you have to, you have to experiment a bit. Lah. Here, see, you, it's, it, it feels like you're hitting the line. It will feel like you're hitting the line. I'm trying to see where it vibrates. That's, that's very good. Yeah, now you have to you have to leave it a, a quicker. Oh, yes. Whoa. You know how long it took me to get that sound? <laughs> I should stop teaching you now. Um, <laughs> oh, that's good, man. Ah, ah, yes. So so three so three months later, three months later you'll be doing na dim dim na. So the thing lesson we were doing uh. Uh, when do the improv part? Right. It's uh. Yeah, but is, I'm like I'm is, doing this. This line. is not dim dim na. That's that's what the fingering for na dim dim This na. is this is I have like if you want to. Yeah, the na remember it's a stop. Right. Na right. is so, so. na is numb. Na is numb. Uh, because if you say nam dim dim na, it it slows you down. So you say na dim dim na. I'm I'm losing the. Yeah, that's na. And then so you can, yeah. If you so can, if I if I shift it down, no, 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 leave it in the same, leave your hand in the same place. Watch, 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 I'm doing. So I leave this in place. 
so the ring finger is not gonna. Yeah, upgrade. this don't don't need to. You just need to rest. Yeah. So. Yes. That, that, anyway, that's the idea. I, I, I bet if I. I bet. Ah, I lost it. I bet off camera he'll get it. <laughs> Darn. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be like. Yeah, I can imagine if I was studying this, my wife would be so annoyed. No, <laughs> no. After a while, it's nice. It's it's a very quiet way. drum. It's a uh, it's uh, made to uh, accompany vocalists in a small right. room. So it's it's. So it cannot room. overpower. It doesn't. It's a very soft drum. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So so modern times, do they also mic it up like this? Yeah, yeah. They mic it up like this because you're you're playing in a larger concert hall that right. that sees more people, and sometimes it's like one of these uh, old style halls that only has a roof but no side wall. Right. So without the sound system, you really can't Seated, get the rhythm. Usually. Seated, yeah, seated the, with the cross legged. I'm imagining, oh, cross legged. Yeah. Right, right. And then you actually put it, there's a, there's a traditional way of putting it on your, on your legs. So you seat cross legged and then this sits on top of your legs. Right. In a certain way. But nowadays, sometimes people will use a, a wooden stand, but they'll still sit on the floor. Cross legged, traditional what? style. Anybody like create some attachment and hang it on the neck and then play standing up? Oh no, there are, there are, peop- there are ones, the temp- uh, some of the temple Murdungan players have a lighter Murdungan that they strap on, yeah. Oh. But, I've heard that that's not true. I've heard that they also strap on the super heavy ones. I don't know if that's true, but it seems like you kill yourself, right? If you do that, I don't know. As a show of strength, but, but they but they do dance around with towels. That's that's very heavy. It's a it's oh, the a one very that with the... yeah with the, some with with one one with hand one with sticks. Yeah, it's called towel. Yeah, yeah, I've I've seen those in like pictures. Yeah, what well, uh, doesn't look comfortable at all. Coming to the yeah, coming to the subject of konako. I mean, that's also the Sofetch language for all kinds of drums. So if you oh. study towel, you will also use the same syllables. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Did you wanna? That's it. Yeah. So not 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 din tati tumnam is the usually the first lesson. So so so. Ta, hey, no, no, ta has to, st- oh, has to be a has stop to... stroke, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, this one not loud enough. Three fingers. Oh, yeah, I demo once for you. Okay, yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, that one not, not loud enough. No, no. Okay. It's not a press, it's more like a slap. Yes. So, okay, let's try again. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, lost it. So this has to move. I, I'm like frozen when I'm doing the third one. Well, I, and once you get used to it, you, you, you find a, a place that's comfortable. Right. Like, you know, like guitar, right? This is, yeah. when you start, maybe you play like this, and then after a while you go, oh, okay, got an angle here. Okay, so, so, so let's try this again. Yeah, the D has to has, does, cannot bounce off. No, no. Oh, and that's bounce a off. so yes, yeah, so, sorry. Choke, choke, right? Choke, yeah. choke. So. Yes. Oh, this one is underwhelmingly soft. Oh, that one takes time. Uh, the, to build the fine motors. What is this? So no, now. Murdangan no, no. <laughs> Mer- Mer- players are defined by their noun. <laughs> Already? That, that could be a slogan for a t shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for the crash course. Yeah, if you're interested, please uh, please continue uh, you know, your own research on this and I'll be glad to show you some more. I need to do some Googling this. Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> that was cool. So, man. I hope I didn't like destroy anything. Oh, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, you, 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 you paid the instrument a lot of good respect, so that's great. Okay, cool. So, uh, there is a section that I ask every episode um, so, is there anything that you would want to tell our viewers about po- possible myths or misconceptions that are going around about <laughs> what you do? No, the, the big myth is that uh, a lot of people just call Indian drums tablas. Like, no matter what Indian drum it is, they'll say tabla. It's not that straightforward, ah. Huh? Yeah, not that straightforward. Well, it is the shortest name. I mean, this is Murdungam, and then there's tabla, right? right? So, it, it's just like there are many different instruments, like, you know, there's cello, there's viola, there's violin. They're all different, you know. Right, but I know that, I know that violinists do take it hard oh, yeah, when yeah. you say that you're a viola player. Yeah, yeah, of course. Violinists don't like that, ah. Huh? So I, I, I wonder whether there is a similar frustration. Uh, I, I don't think frustration, lah, but I mean, people are open to... Uh, it's actually good that when people expose the misunderstanding, then you can kind of clear it up. So it then gives us a chance to explain. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Cool. In our scene, the typical term is VP. 
because vocal oh, okay, percussionist okay. is very long to type out or write out. So yeah, yeah. the VP of the group is so and so. Oh. That tends to be the. Oh, but that sounds like you are some important person. Like Matiam, right? Matiam. Yeah. Yeah, but like yeah, like, okay like, We just hold the groove. <laughs> We're just the drummer of a band that doesn't have instruments. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So for for every episode and uh, at the beginning of this episode as well, we have the the jingle. Mm. Okay, which is creatively titled Lex Talk Drums, same title as the show. Yeah, okay. And uh, we have a unique version by the guests, in this case, the two of us, uh, that will be done. So let's see how this works out, because now I have to, I have to switch backwards <laughs> and forwards between singing and drumming. I, I hope I don't forget. Okay. Lola. All right, let's go. Let's Talk Drums. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, I would like to thank Tony uh, and myself. Uh, this is Let's Talk Drums, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>